Hi, I'm Karina and welcome to mommywood.com. Well, for most of us, our homes are a safe haven, a place to rest and relax. But if you're a little one, it could actually be a playground filled with hidden dangers. Today, we're gonna to be talking to child safety expert and professional baby proofer, Kimberly Mitchell, who's gonna walk through the home of one of our mommywood.com members and give her some pointers on how she can make her home a little safer for baby and more relaxing for mom. Come on. Thanks for joining us, Kimberly. Welcome to mommywood.com. Hi, Karina. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, I was in the same position as the mom that owns this house. I was the mother of a newborn and working to make my home baby safe. And um, there wasn't a company in the area that I lived at the time. And so several years later, here I am. And we service LA and Orange County and have baby proofed hundreds of homes. That's great. Yeah. And so thanks for being with us here today. You're going to walk us through the home of one of our members, like I said, yeah. and um, th tell us what you're going to be doing. Well, we're going to do a home consultation, which means we're going to come into the home, walk through the kitchen, the living, living room, family room, all the bedrooms, all the rooms um, where the baby has access, and we're going to recommend product. And my, my company also installs a product, but today we're, we're going to talk about recommendations and I'm going to get to know Dana, the homeowner, a little bit more, which helps me create a, a child safety plan for her home. And there are a lot of hidden dangers in our homes that we just, we never even think about, yeah. right? Yeah, some are obvious, some aren't so obvious. And um, we have to go a lot further than sticking the, the little plastic things into the outlets, right? You're right, and I don't even idea. like those things. No? No, we'll learn about that a little bit later. But there is a common knowledge that people have. And um, what I try to do is help mothers make their home not just baby safe, but do it in an, an aesthetic way and do it in a seamless way to where they can function in their household and have everything be easy to use as well as effective. In a way that works for their lifestyles as exactly. well. Yep, great. That's the goal. All right, well, should we get started? Let's do it. Okay, let's go. All right, well, I'm gonna let you two ladies get to work. I'm gonna take a little break. And, um, and we'll reconvene and see how uh, see how you did. Okay. Okay. okay, sounds good. Hey, thanks. Okay, we're in the dining room, so let's just start here. <gasps> okay, hey buddy, you want to start somewhere else? Okay, <laughs> the best way to baby proof a dining room is to do exactly what you've done and make sure that all of the chairs are pushed in, so that it keeps them from not climbing up. And albeit very beautiful, this tall vase might prove difficult with a little one once he can reach. You, you've removed your tablecloths and your placemats, which is great. And um, it's pretty much the only way to baby-proof this table. Okay. Um, right behind us, we have this beautiful fireplace. And there are a couple ways to make it safe. Do you guys burn fires? We do. You do. So you can either put a lock on the fireplace. It's very aesthetic. It's black. And it can go right here on these accordion doors so that it stays closed and he can't reach in and grab the, um, the rocks and whatnot in there, which are choking hazards. Um, or you can just choose to, and then you burn fires later when he's in bed. Mm -hmm. Or you can actually put a hearth gate right here in front, and it can be black that will match the decor of your home, so that you can burn fires and keep this pretty decor here and not have to change really the integrity and the, the design here okay. of your hearth. So let's go ahead and check out electrical hazards. We've got outlets all over the house, and I noticed that you have a few push plugs. Mm -hmm. Push plugs are great, but they can be removed, and they can also um, become choking hazards, and it's kind of hard to have to put them back in. Again, I'm a mom of two. I'm a mom just like you are, and I want to make sure that things are easy. Sliding outlet covers are the best. You remove the face plate, you put on the sliding outlet cover, which means you need to push the plug in, move it over, and then push it in to engage with the electricity. Okay. When a plug's pulled out, little fingers, baby fingers or toys cannot be put in to the outlet cover. 